These are the seven major scales we've looked at so far. C, F, G, D, E flat, C sharp, C flat. When we put these major scales together, whenever a flat or sharp was needed, we place it to the left of the note on the same line or space the note uses. This has really helped us see how major scales are put together. Instead of writing sharps and flats every time they occur, they can be placed in what's known as a key signature. From here on, we'll adopt the common practice of using key signatures. This is the key signature we'd use for the B-flat major scale. It tells us every B and E are to be played with a flat. The key signature is written immediately after the clef. We see the first flat is on the line where the note B is placed. And the second flat is on the space where the note E is placed. This is how we know all Bs and Es are to be played as flats. Let's add key signatures to the seven major scales we've made so far. On the left side, we have the major scale written with accidentals, sharps and flats, added to each affected note. On the right side, we have the exact same thing. Instead of adding sharps and flats to each affected note, these same sharps and flats have been placed in key signatures. Let's see how this works. We already know the C major scale has no sharps or flats. So the key signature for C major doesn't have any either. No sharps or flats equals key of C. The F major scale has one flat, B flat. The key signature for the F major scale also has one flat. Here the flat is placed on the line where the note B is placed. In the key signature, the flat is also placed on the line where the note B is placed. Being in the key signature, it affects every B, so we no longer need to add a flat in front of B to make it B flat. Since the flat for B is now in the key signature, all Bs are to be played as B flats. The G major scale has one sharp, F sharp. The key signature for the G major scale also has one sharp. Here the sharp is placed on the line where the note F is placed. In the key signature, the sharp is also placed on the line where the note F is placed. Just like before, now that F sharp has been placed in the key signature, it affects every F, so we no longer need to add a sharp in front of F to make it F sharp. Now that the sharp for F is in the key signature, all Fs are to be played as F sharps. The D major scale has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. When these are placed in the key signature, every F is played as F sharp, and every C is played as C sharp. Notice the sharp for F is placed on the line where the note F is placed, and the sharp for C is placed on the space where the note C is placed. The E flat major scale has three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. As always, when these flats are placed in the key signature, every B, E, and A are to be played as flat, B flat, E flat, and A flat. The maximum number of sharps or flats that can be placed in a key signature are seven. When we looked at the C-sharp major scale, we saw every note had a sharp. When we looked at the C-flat major scale, we saw every note had a flat. With the sharps and flats moved into the key signature, we still have seven sharps for C-sharp major and seven flats for C-flat major. With seven sharps, every note is played as a sharp. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. With seven flats, every note is played as a flat. C flat, D flat, E flat, F flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat. Exactly the same as before. Only difference now is, instead of placing sharps and flats in front of every affected note, the sharps and flats are now in the key signature. <laughs>